Hey y'all, so I'm doing something a little bit different today. The most important holiday of the year is coming up. Of course, that's my birthday, and I had to find a perfect birthday fit to wear. I decided to look for an outfit on Crackazon. I mean, Amazon. And yes, that's taking the risk, because when you buy clothes off Amazon, sometimes you don't know what you're getting. Hence, the five or six outfits I already tried that didn't work out that I need to send back. But, seven's the charm, right? So I kept looking. I didn't give up. I kept looking and clicking and creeping through Amazon, and I came across this dress. And the first thing I thought when I saw the dress was, man, that's fugly. But the more I looked at it, the more I realized the dress itself was actually kind of cute. So I was looking at some of the pictures in the comments and I realized that the dress is cute. It could be better, but I could make it better. So I decided to go ahead and order it. I ordered three sizes. I ordered medium, large, and extra large. And I'm normally about a US medium. I ended up keeping the extra large. So let me go ahead and show y'all what I got in the mail. All right, this is the dress, and you can see that it is certainly distressed looking type of dress. And at the bottom, there are bigger holes. It did come with the belt that I am going to use. A lot of people didn't use the belt, but I'm going to use the belt. So my plan here is to give the dress a little bit more flair. I want to make it look more naturally distressed by making the holes not so uniform and also... Um, giving a little bit of discoloration and also maybe just adding a few more details just to give this dress a little bit more attitude. I'm showing you all how the dress fit and I wanted it to fit loose instead of tightly so that's why I went with such a large size. I forgot to mention how much the dress was. The dress was offered from several vendors and it was about $24. Hey, I'm balling on a budget for my birthday. <laughs> for the first step, I am using sandpaper to distress and discolor the dress. When denim wears naturally, the color fades, so I wanted to recreate that look by rubbing the sandpaper on areas around the holes on the dress. This is one of the sleeves and it's easier to see how the color is lightening up as I'm rubbing it with the sandpaper. Next, I am cutting new holes. The dress clearly already has a lot of holes in it, but I want more. I really want even more skin to show, so I'm just cutting holes in the places that I see fit. After cutting the holes, I pull at the threads and rip them a bit to make sure that the holes aren't too uniform. Next, I go ahead and rip holes that were already in the dress. Again, I'm trying to make the holes less uniform and I'm trying to get a little bit more skin to show. Next, I go ahead and wash and dry the dress. And what this does is make all the new holes and rips look frayed and tattered and like they were already there to begin with, as you can see. I decided that I wanted to add a deep v-neck to this dress, so I went ahead and marked that out with a fabric pencil. And then carefully cut it out with scissors. Next, I am adding grommet eyelet tape to the sides of the V-neck. And I'm just carefully measuring it, making sure that I don't cut it too short. And I'm gonna glue this to the dress. So I went ahead and slid a puppy pad underneath to make sure that I didn't glue the two sides of the dress together. I'm carefully making sure that the eyelets on each side line up with each other. All right, this is optional. I didn't really have to do this, but I decided to sew the two ends of the eyelet pieces together at an angle. And I did it off camera because I really don't know what I'm doing. I can't sew, but hey, I made it work. 
And using a washable fabric glue, I am gonna go ahead and glue the eyelet tape to the dress. And if you try this, make sure to glue the tape at the very edge of the cutout so that you have enough space for the string to pass through the eyelets. Off camera, I trimmed the excess grommet tape at the neck and went ahead and threaded the string through. I also took a little bit of extra grommet tape and cut a triangle out and glued that to the very bottom of the V-neck, if you can see, and that really cleaned up the look and made it look nicer. One sleeve is ripped and the other one isn't, and I decided to put some iron-on patches on that sleeve. So I found this super cute skull middle finger patch and I pinned it on just to hold it in place. And then just spray with water and iron for about 30 or 40 seconds. And then I added more cute patches and repeated the process. And that was the last step. So I took this Amazon dress to an Amazon, yes! Hey, it's my birthday. Don't mind me, I'm just about to go out and slay. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you co-friends in the next video.